Hey everybody, this is my red clawed crab tank and I'm just getting finished up a water change right now that's why the water's still all disturbed and cloudy. I plan on shooting a video this afternoon about the little waterfall you can see in there on the right. I'm going to make some adjustments to it and we can look at some simple ways to just change the look and feel of the waterfall simply by adjusting the kinds of rocks that we have creating the waterfall. But for a real brief moment I wanted to shoot a simple video of a little quick tip I've got. If you've ever done water changes in tanks like this and you have issues with pouring the water back in. On this tank I use a, a empty gallon milk jug and I use a scoop and so on and so forth. I don't use my big siphon hose. I use a regular gravel vac and then just pour the water back in with the jug the way many of us do in our small tanks. And if you've done that, you've probably run into issues with kicking up the gravel and just making a big mess of the bottom of the tank. And if you're looking for a way to pour the water in fairly quickly without it doing a lot of disruption in the bottom of the tank, go to a dollar store and get yourself one of these. Uh, very, very inexpensive little colander. Simply put it inside the tank like that and now you pour your water into that or you could even go one better and sort of partially submerge it and pour it directly into that. And that allows you to pour it in without, you know, slowly trickling it in like you would normally have to do. I sometimes will very carefully pour it over a rock, or I might pour it over a rock like this, and that'll let the water go in nice and slowly. If you just spend a dollar or two and you get one of these, you can probably get them at Wally World or any of the uh, places where they sell the really cheap colanders and things like that. Remember, you want to get one that's really cheaply made with these holes in it. You don't want to get a real screen colander because that'll let the water flow straight through you need one that's going to diffuse and break the water up and disrupt that flow so for one dollar you can have a lot less hassle when you do your water changes so there was your little tip for today look forward to video in the very near future uh, once i get this tank wiped down and settled out we're going to actually start working on shooting some video in regards to this waterfall back here. Uh, I have three or four different rocks that we're going to try and see how each one looks and affects the uh, water flow differently. So thanks for watching this one. Make sure you subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I got coming up. Don't forget this is my red clawed crab tank. And I'll see you real soon in the next one.